Welcome to episode 9 of the Agree or Disagree podcast. Um, Wait, we're already on 9? Yeah, we're on 9. Are you hungover at all? I thought I was this morning because I woke up kind of dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a Halloween party um, last night. It was fun. But like, I got up and like ate and took a shower. Oh. Gathered myself a bit, and so I'm better. You were Wednesday. Uh, no, it was Saturday. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. That's strike one. Fuck. This episode, you're gonna have three. Shit. No, yeah, I was Wednesday, Adams. Oh, was that too loud? Okay, okay, good. <laughs> um, you were. I was Billy Loomis. Right. Scream. Right. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta be careful with this. <laughs> we have like a whole audience right now. Two dogs. Two dogs. Two, two humans. people. Two humans. Um. Oh, Ivy is so cute. Um. Fuck. Wait, this episode is starting off weird. Yeah, it is. The energy's weird. The energy's weird. Super weird. But I low key, uh. Oh, never mind. What was your favorite part of the party yesterday? The mic, Jackie. Sorry. <laughs> what was your favorite part of the party yesterday? What was your favorite part? Um, my favorite part was. It's gonna. Is it gonna be bad if I say getting ready for it? Yeah, because that's not the party at all. Because I'm offended. <laughs> no, 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 because, like, Wait, I, your liked, party wasn't I shit. liked, like, dressing up for something. Does that make sense? It makes sense, but that wasn't the question. Okay, what was my favorite part of the party? Oh, um, the, like, the games that we played in the middle. That was fun. Dude, yeah. We uh, had this game where you, like, what is it? It's like a... There's a category, and then you have to name something of that letter, which I found to be really, really hard. That was hard. Um, and then we asked, Tapple. what's it called? Tapple. Tapple. Tapple? Yeah. Oh. That was fun. And then we played, fun. like, it King's was hard, Cup. Though. Yeah, played King's Cup. I, I never got, um, I never popped it, so. I watched a couple intense rounds of uh, Uno. <laughs> I got, used to, those got crazy. I feel like you were, like, an observer. Just for, like, the ending stuff, yeah. That, but that's because I was, that's when, like, I was, you know, chilling a lot harder. <laughs> um, um, so, yeah. But it was fun. It was great. The, the, the black lights really set the scene, too. Those <clears throat> were such a cool touch. Yeah. I knew, I knew that there had to be some kind of color lights because it couldn't just be just what it is like for a halloween party you know yeah um i'm, was, ups- I'm so upset that well, we what was your favorite part didn't find red. did you say your favorite part no what was your favorite part um my favorite part was when damn i'm actually kind of trying to remember last night was a movie <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, my favorite part was playing the games, like playing King's Cup and stuff. Like, I, li- I just like, like, when everyone's involved, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I hate going to a party where there's, like, people that are, like, just, like, on their phones, like, unengaged. Okay. So, I think at that point... Um, when we were playing the games and stuff, everyone was like all on the same page and everyone was engaging and stuff. Yeah. I feel like you also played music for everyone there. Yeah. Dude, I will, I will say my DJ skills were on point last night. But like someone like requested a song and you didn't like not put it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how some people are like, yeah, yeah, like I got it and they'll throw it in the queue and it's like a queue of like 25 songs. So they just put it at the fucking bottom of it. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, dude, go, go. Oh hide. shit! Go fucking hide. Go fucking hide. That's weird. I've n- I've never hear. Uh, that like reminds that me of like it. Austin. It's like we're on your I know. Yeah, it's it's like, it's, I, that didn't phase me at all. Yeah, weird. Um, yeah, normally when we do the podcast in Austin, what a special time. Um, <laughs> there's like nonstop sirens and shit. Yeah. 
Because you're, like, right by the highway. Yeah. Um, We're in the neighborhood now, though. We're in the burbs. That's We're in serious. The burbs. Whatever that was. Um, I feel like last podcast we were touching on stuff that we said we were going to reserve for, like, a whole other episode. And I feel like I kind of want to go deep on that. Okay. But I also feel like... I don't know. I, I want you to, like, be down. I am down. I just, I just told you, um, some things might not come just, like, right out of, I might just not, like, say certain things, but luckily you know, like, the whole story and past, I guess, so if, and I'm not trying to, like, shy away from anything, um, but if I just, like, happen to miss out on it something or you're trying to get it out of me are you saying you want me to just like pry yes i'm oh, okay. a, i'm allowing you to pry this episode Slay. right hey, so y- do y'all have mics so y'all can right we gave y'all can ash and jackie mics so i mean yeah say hi hi <laughs> hello right so we're about to go deep right now. Fuck. So, do you not want to? I do. I'm just nervous. Oh, why? Anxiety. Because, yeah, I'm just anxious. Okay, so I'll start it off. So, what it, What are, like... Are you sweating? A little bit. What are some... What are some trauma that you have that you're just not realizing? <laughs> yeah, let me just start this yeah. off. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Well, like, what is something you realized that was, like, uh, trauma that... You're just now realizing was trauma, but okay. was normalized. But for like, you. wait, what are we, what are we talking about first? Just relationships in general. Okay, relationships. Relationships, friendships, just relationships. Not not necessarily like romantic relationships, but just relationships in general with people, with right. friends, right? With like significant others, right? What is my trauma with that? Yeah, what is something that you've unpacked that you like, that you realize like what? You didn't consider trauma before, like, because it was normalized, you know? But you're like, oh, wow, this is, like, I'm fucked up about this. Um. <laughs> Otis and snooze. I know. <laughs> um, shit. Trust. I mean, obviously, right? I, I feel like I, you, you've used this before, too, um. Like, I capped people. Oh, yeah. Well, we talked about that last episode. No, we didn't. We talked about this after. Yeah. Oh, we did? Yeah. So it wasn't on air? We, no, we oh, stopped man. recording and then continued Okay, to so what happened it. was we were saying how Aisa... Are you sure? No. I feel like I remember y'all maybe starting we, Yeah, I think we that. started and then and then we really, really scratched the surface with it. Yeah, like, this is another episode material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's um, right. That's right. I was not there with no, you. No, um... Yeah. Um, yeah, so we were saying how, like, you, <sighs> yeah, I'm actually, like, excited to get into this, because I'm, I'm wondering, you know, like, because we were talking about how you, like, cap people off. Yeah. Like, I feel like we're your closest friends, but I also feel like there's a layer to you that we still are not, like, past, mm-hmm. and I feel like you're capping us off on, like, um, like, it, like, We're not all the way in, you know? Like, you don't let us all the way in. Yeah. So that's from, like, a prior relationship? Um, I think, I think it stems from that. Yeah. Yeah. How did that... Sorry if I'm, like, awkward, too. Sorry. (laughs) I used to, like, I don't know what to do with my hands. No, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just anxious. Sorry. Do you not want to talk about this, like, on air? No, I do. Oh. But just talking about it, I don't regularly talk about it. Right. So it's difficult to, like, put it into words sometimes. Okay. So what do you think, like, you're protecting yourself from by, like, doing that? Hurt. Pain. (laughs) Right. Duh. So do you see that, or do you find that, like, is it because, like, you put all your trust in someone and then they ended up, like... Because I don't know, because you said something, and this was off air, but you said, like, you're scared that we're just going to, like, not, like, just one day just, like, not text you back or something. No, no, I didn't say that. I said, 
that one day, and it wasn't not, not texting me back. It's like, you don't reach out one day, and then I don't reach out another, and then it it kind of like... It, it just continues yeah, to... Like the, the dis- yeah, like the like distance kind out. of just grows. Yeah. And just because like I've experienced that before. With also, your significant other? No, 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 not with my significant other. With like friendships. But di- but were you affected by that, or were you affected when it happened with your significant other? Was that oh that that distancing didn't really happen with my significant with a significant other? Yeah, but like it kind of was when it shut happened off with that other person. Like, was it a friendship? The like not reaching out any that much. Anymore? Yeah, yeah, that was like friendship. So di- so did that affect you hard? Um, were you like upset about that? Yeah. Yeah. And like, there's no like bad blood or anything like that. It's just, like, now just acquaintances, you know? And it's awkward because, like, that used to be my bitch, you know? (laughs) I feel like, um, because I have situations like that. Like, I have one of my closest friends, like, ever that, like, I don't really talk to anymore. Yeah. Uh, However, I I do feel that, like, if we were to talk, it'd be, like, we never left. Right. But I feel like... But no one's making that move. No one's making the move. And I, I feel like there are things that, you know... I feel like a certain, how can I word this? Because I, I want to like be careful in my wording. I feel like it is maybe true that people grow apart. No, don't tell me that. Like, I think it is because like two people, right? Yeah. Or one person grows, right? Yeah. And it's not necessarily that a person has to grow because a person can decide to just be the same. Like, have you ever been around someone and they're like, damn, you're the exact same as like from high school or some shit? E- no. <laughs> oh, wait. Told me that because I'm no, 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 no. I'm not saying you. I'm saying, have you ever been around someone oh, and, and you're think like, that they're yeah, like, the damn, you're the exact person. same. Yeah. Um, I want to, but I don't really like hang out with people <laughs> I graduated with. Well, anyway, anyways, uh, like, but I can, there's people who, I can see that. Happen so what sure. I mean is there's people who like are, don't ever grow out of it. Don't ever grow. Right. Really? So, so there's that, but then there's people who are like consistently growing from their likes, their interests, their, you know, it's completely different than, like, maybe the past couple years, and I think that that maybe causes two people to get, like, out of touch, you know? Yeah, but... It's like a, it's like a plant, like, imagine two vines growing, they started off down here together, right, in the yeah. ground, and, but then eventually they just grow this way, that's the way that, like, I, I view it. Yeah, but, like, why? But outgrowing people is a part of life, though, I think. It is. An unfortunate part of life. Yeah. It is. Because you spend so much time and energy in learning that person. Yeah. but I, I also think that's f- my thing, too, is, like, time. You know? Like, I wouldn't call it wasted, but I'd be like, what about the time that we spent together? We spent knowing each other. Like, does that not matter? Like, I value time so much. No, I know. To the point Me where, too. like... I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. And then, but then I'm also, I also am to blame in, like, not reaching out to people also, like, mm. my side. But then isn't that you, like, growing? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Are you one of those people that you feel like you're bothering the other yes. person if you reach out? Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. I just don't want to feel like a burden. And I know, I feel that way. Friendship shouldn't be a burden, though. Yeah. I, Excuse me. I personally feel like when I'm like, let's say I was to contact that friend that I haven't talked to in a while. Right. I feel like when I choose to make someone a part of my life, I take all of them. Like me personally, I'm not able to, you know, hang out with someone and then like they leave and it's fine. Like I take a, a person's entire being like all in all at once. And so whenever I choose to, like, hang out with someone or anything, it's like, they're, they're in, right? And so, like, when they're out, I it's the same thing. They're they're out. Like, they're out of my life. So it's like, I guess it's kind of hard for me to, like, make the move to, like, hey, let's reintroduce this person back into my life because that's me deciding to take all of them in again because that's the way that, like, I have relationships with people. Um, but I feel like it's also, like, tough because maybe I need to learn to take only little bits and pieces at a time. Yeah. I'm, I feel like I'm good at keeping people at arm's length. 
Like, that's where I thrive. Yeah, but it sucks so bad because, like, you do that to us. I know. Yeah. And it makes I me know. feel like, and I said this, it makes me feel like you don't value, like, me as much as I value you. Yeah. Them. Or it makes me feel like you're not as interested in, like, me as, as much as I'm interested in, in you. Like, yeah. there's the, not that, like, interest, you know? Yeah. I feel like that's also where, like, energy comes into play, like... You give your friends the energy that they give you. Like if you are in a relationship, a relationship works as you give and you receive. You should be giving the energy that they're giving back to you. It yeah. shouldn't be like like I'm putting all this energy in, but you're only giving 50% and I'm giving 110 If somebody's giving you 110%, you should be giving them 110% back. And that's kind of how I feel sometimes. It's like, am I... I feel like sometimes maybe I give 100%. But maybe you also are giving hundred percent. That's what I'm saying. Not. I'm like, what if my hundred percent isn't the same as we? Or what or you, you think, think you're giving hundred percent, but on the outside you're giving like sixty. I know, but like, what if that's my hundred percent though? Yeah, but you that's know what where I'm communication also comes into play. That's why I'm like, that's why I'm telling y'all, and I've said before, I'm the, this is the most open and closest I've ever been with people, and I I know like it's still like okay like really. But, like, I do give my hundred, but I know it doesn't seem that way. And it, it does, like, it does grow more and more every day. So it's act, it is actively growing? I, yeah, and I said, I've said this, I told you too. It's just, like, like, yeah, like we just said, what your hundred is is probably completely different from what my hundred is. She said we're still growing on her. <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, I mean No, and that that trust is still being built from from me. Y'all have mo- more than prove yourselves. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all don't even need to even keep trying, I guess. And this is all just me just getting comfortable and growing into like our friendship and our relationships now. Yeah. That's literally all it is. So like do you still carry that, like, irrational fear that we're just going to grow distant with each other? Yeah. Like, us? Always. Yes. I think Always. everybody has a little bit of that in them. I just don't see that, though, for us. Like, because there's some, like, and this might be messed up. I'm just going to go ahead and warn. But I've been in some friendships where I'm like, oh, this is, like, a couple-year thing. Like, is that true? Like, t- for y'all? Yes. Like, where you're, like... This is nice right now, but, like, I don't see myself... <laughs> yeah, like, y'all aren't, like, on that list. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm I... am not really friends with anybody that was on that list anymore. Exactly. They've all timed out. Yeah, they've all, had say, their, yeah. they've all had their time. I don't see that, like, with this, you know? And there's friends that I have that I'm like, oh, like, I don't... Like, my friend Monica, like, I'll, I'll feel like I'm gonna be her friend, like, forever. Yeah. Shout Just, out, there's... Monica. Oh, yeah, shout out, Monica, if you're watching which I know you are. <laughs> um, I just feel like no matter where we are in our lives, like, yeah, you're always going to be friends. Yeah. Like no matter what. And there's some friends that it's like, you can kind of tell that it's like a year or two kind of friendship and you guys are going to have really great times, but it's ultimately going to cap off at like the two or three year mark, which is sad. But at the same time, I guess the point I'm trying to make is like, I don't get those vibes from like us. Mm-hmm. But, like, do you get those vibes? From us? Yeah. No. Oh, well, well then I don't think there's no, a reason I, to be worried, you know? No, but... Okay. <laughs> do you know, like, how... You, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's not that easy. It it's, don't... It just it's, don't be worried. It's, oh, okay. No, no, no. It's not, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> but I'm saying it's, like, every day you can, like... And I, I... Yeah, I mean, that trust, like I said, is build, still building from... Like, to still have that in six months is, like, crazy to me. Like, in six months, if I ask you again, and it's still the same, like, that'd be weird. Oh. You know? But what's crazy is that there are friendships that, like, you have periods of time where you're not as involved in each other's lives, and you come back together, and, like, nothing ever happened again. Like, the friend you're referring to. Like, I, yeah. I agree that that would be the case. Yeah. Not that I feel like this squad would ever no i don't think that i don't think that but i think think if we ever needed a break from each other i don't think there would be 
I don't think we would miss a beat if we ever like came back. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you need a break from me? Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> you know, it's not me. It's me. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's, it's you. <laughs> it's you. No. 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 I'm confused. How? Like, no, you wouldn't need a break from me? No. Oh. Which is weird because I feel like... I just wouldn't respond to you. Oh. So <laughs> no. then you would be the one. No, who's because like... how do I? How do I? I haven't I haven't needed a break from you yet. But if I did, <laughs> yeah. but if I yeah. did, how do I go about doing that without offending you? Well, here's why I think you would never need a break from me. Okay. Because I feel like if no, no, seriously. <laughs> First of all, you, you are never going to need a break. No, from no, 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 no. <laughs> here's here's the thing. Um, if it because when you would maybe need a break from me. It is, there would probably be some kind of issue that I'm causing, like maybe a minute issue, like, but it's like ongoing, something a that what? you're, minute, minute, small, That's small. A good word. It, it, it's like, uh, Spell it might be it. like a minute, no, uh, M I N U T, I'm good. I think, I'm good. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, but it might be like an ongoing issue. That's something like that's growing on you. That's really pushing you away from me. Okay. Um, Here's why I think you wouldn't need a break is because I feel like we but I wouldn't. I would tell you. Yeah, you would tell me, and then I would fix it. Yeah. Which has happened before. I yeah. Think. Has it? I mean, like, it's like like the little things too. Um. Like, I don't know if I should expose you. No, go ahead. Recent, like recently. Do it. No, just. <laughs> don't hold back. <laughs> Just, just what? Your little, your little like mansplain sessions. Oh my yeah. God. No, but no, I'm but g- you're getting better. Yeah, but that's more of like an awareness. It's not like my personality. It's more of like a something that's normal. That it's is something it just that you I feel wanting like... to like always teach. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I agree with that. Okay. Because like I, when you first started doing, I was like, do you just like assume that the person you're talking to just doesn't know anything? That's sort of like X. I, I, that's what I thought at first. So I often was. find myself in conversations where I'm talking to someone and they have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay. Which is not their fault. I was about and to it say, doesn't say, it do doesn't, I come off as like no, fucking no, clueless? It, no, 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 no. It doesn't. It, and I'm not talking to you about I know, like. I know. I'm not talking to you about like um like when I am doing that. I'm not talking to you about like um some simple shit. Mm-hmm. It's always like a very specific subject. Mm-hmm. So who am I to know if you do know about that? So I've gotten better. That's why like. Oh, uh, do you know about like? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no, oh, I've gotten yeah, better at asking know. you. Yes. Right. But then somebody I still would tell this. you if they don't know. Like I, I tell you, I'm like I have well, no I clue what know, you're talking about. I don't know. I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but I've been asking you first. No, that's why I'm saying like it's getting like, and well, that's I feel bad e- almost better. calling it mansplaining from you, but like it, is, it feels that it just <laughs> it is mansplaining. Okay, I was about to say no, it's like, almost like rooted. I think it's not coming from a place. In my head, we're like, like some kind of toxic masculinity shit where I think I'm better than. I think it's genuinely that I al- I always find myself in conversations where I'm talking to someone about something and they have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. And they make me feel weird for like knowing the shit. But you're def- you're you're just one of those people who just retains so much information. I was just going to say Yeah, that. I'm like autistic or something. Respectfully. <laughs> Yeah, it's your, probably true. Your ability to retain information is absolutely insane to me because I have the attention span of like a squirrel, goldfish, all of the things. So from the thought of like being able to sit down and just first of all do something, second like remember what the hell I was doing and remember it well enough to explain to somebody else is absolutely insane to me. Mm-hmm. I feel sometimes that, that I feel sometimes like very, I, I worded it a certain way the other day, but, but you're not alone in that. I feel like it, honestly, for me, I feel like a lot of the guys that I know do that. Like my, my brother, he can intake so much information sometimes, even my dad. Like, I think it's just that you guys get so interested in certain things and you guys just research the crap out of it. Mm-hmm. So you have a type. <laughs> a what? A type. What do you mean? Of like men that she surrounds herself with, <laughs> like encyclopedias. Oh, her? Yeah. Uh, it might you be too, very like, well. Surround yourself with men. <clears throat> well, it might be very well that you're, you like are just meant to be a sponge. But I naturally do that because I didn't, I didn't, 
I didn't get to pick that my dad and my brother like that. They just that's true. Yeah, so it's more of well, like that, I'm, that, u- I'm used to having sponges. I mean, people with knowledge. They just yeah. know things. Well, that might be why me. you like. That's why I, I surround s- myself with people yeah, who know because your dad and brother yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I just sometimes if because like I test I test it out, like I I I, and and this honestly like I didn't start noticing this until like. Maybe like sophomore year of high school, but I tested it out and I've tried to like be normal. Like, it sounds weird, but I've tried to like forget shit, and I find myself even maybe lying sometimes to appear more normal, saying that I forgot, but I didn't forget. But it'd be bad if I said that I didn't forget it. You know what I mean? But it's some. It's like there's so much information in there, like. I retained it. It's just I was on to the next thing, but I didn't forget it. I'm just on to the next thing. What? I'm just thinking. I'm processing. Like, I'm but I, but I, I try to appear but you more shouldn't. normal than I am. You should be yourself. You should. It's like some. It's like. Like it's it's fascinating that you know that much. Like it's it's, it's cool. I I it, I, it I is, like. But it's, she said I'm envious of it. Like I would love to to retain that a lot of information like that. It is, but it. I think it closes me off. But you shouldn't have to suppress your knowledge for the sake of, like, what society thinks. Yeah. Like, you just gotta do you. No, but I do, though. Because yeah. it, it makes me not normal. Like, it makes people look Being at me normal differently. normal is boring, though. It is. Yeah. But I, I also have to, like, maintain social cues and understand I mean, social behavior. Like, sometimes, like, like, for me, like, I don't understand... When two people are talking about like the weather, or or two people are like you can at me next or like so time. how is work, like total total normal question, or like just like normal shit like I don't understand that. Like a simple how is work question. Mm-hmm. You don't like that question. Mm-hmm. We literally fight about it often. I don't like that question. But it's a very like standard question, mm-hmm. and you could answer it with like a sentence if nothing special happened, and we can move on. But you, yeah, at the end of the I don't day, know why. I don't like that question. Because to me, like, work is a place that I go, and that's not necessarily what makes up my day. Even though, yes, I'm spending time doing that, and if something d- significant does happen, I do tell you. Like, I do talk about it. Yeah, but if you tell me throughout the day, I don't ask you when you come home. Well, I do tell you throughout the day, most times. Like, you virtually know what I'm doing, but what I'm saying is, like, I I just have, like, difficulty with, like, normal conversations and, like, processing shit. I think because they're so vanilla to you. Yeah. Like, you don't have to use your brain at all to answer those questions, and you're very analytical. But I also think, like, your fear of not being perceived as normal is just an ability to read the room. Like, you can still retain and share all your information, but know that there's a time and place to do so. Yeah. Like, sometimes, like, I like specific movies where someone has a really nice smile because then that teaches me how to smile or like if there's a funeral scene or something and people are sad i like look at that and i'm like okay this is how to be sad it's giving sociopath yeah okay i'm just talking about it do you need any help are you okay no i'm okay okay Okay. i'm just trying to explain to you the way that like (laughs) i live my life (laughs) um but but you don't know how to be sad i do I do, because I've taught myself. But it's not an inherent feeling that I immediately feel. I can vouch for that. Okay. But I've taught myself over the years, so I'm very, I'm very normal. But But it's something I've taught myself. If it's something you have to teach, then is it normal? No. But ultimately, I've taught myself, so I am. Do you think that some of it is just, I don't know how y'all feel about this, but do y'all just feel like numb sometimes? Like yes. Nothing? Yes. Is that how you feel numb? Because mm-hmm. I don't feel like you were always having to, quote, learn emotions. No, I wasn't. It was like sometime in high school. But that's when I feel like my br- something in my brain like turned on to where, yeah, I started processing all this information. So I'm like, my brain is consistently full of just everything all at once that um 
it's like that SpongeBob episode where it's like the files and everything's on fire and he's just throwing it around everywhere. No. That's not what your brain is like? That's Mm -mm. how I've always imagined it. Maybe not on fire. No, no, no. It's not chaotic at all. It's like I'm experiencing everything like all at once. Really? Mm -hmm. That's kind of overwhelming. Maybe that's why you get panic attacks sometimes because you can like tap into that part of your brain that's processing everything at once and it, it's like scary. Like, yeah. That's so much information. Yeah. Like I was talking to And all to, you, you're just sitting there. Like, yeah. Right. I was talking <laughs> like, to her yesterday. Um, was it yesterday? It was the day before. Um, I don't remember. In the car about like how day before. I feel like I've cracked what deja vu is. Yeah. Um, like I, I feel like I have um, because in deja vu. Like, when you get it, you're kind of, like, discombobulated. You're kind of, like, like whoa. Like, everything slows down. So, what if deja vu is your future self remembering and accessing that memory? Do you think deja vu and synchronicity, like, hold hands? No. Oh. No. I used to think that, but now I'm kind of thinking in terms of, like, nonlinear time. So, I was always born. I've always been dead. I've always done this. No matter what. You know what I mean? So, like... I can jump from, you know, it's like a memory, but I'm ultimately accessing that part in time, in my timeline. And so what if deja vu is my future self accessing? Because, like, right now, let's say I have a memory right now and I think really hard about, oh, yeah, I remember going to Walmart with my grandma or whatever. But I don't remember this. But what if back then, when I was six at my Walmart, I got deja vu? And I just and that's your present self remembering That's my present self past. remembering my past. And then in my, pa- in my past, which at that time was the my present, me, six years old, I get deja vu and I'm like, the your fuck? Your future self. That's like your future self tapping in when you feel it. Yeah, before. but it's, it's, just, it's just simple as just remembering. Oh, that is so complex. Yeah, it's very complex. And I, I was thinking about it and I'm like, dude, what if that's what it is? Because sometimes, you know, we smell a candle. And we're, like, immediately transported back to a specific memory or specific time. No, have you ever um, felt a feeling from being, like, like a smell? Uh-huh. Um, so, like, for an example, like, I was chewing this gum on a plane, and I got really, really sick on that plane ride, and I ended up, like, throwing up on whatever. And then... Like, I went to go, you know, grocery store, got the same gum, and I felt the exact same way that I felt on the plane. Like, little things like that. Like, that's that's, just, like... That's similar. Like, I think maybe we express it in smells, or maybe we express it in that as well. Yeah. There's multiple Mm. different ways to express moments in time that, like... Like, I remember when I went to Disney World in, like, 2006, I think. I went to um, Disney, and I rode the Stitch Ride. And it was a cool ass ride. I, I don't remember like what happened, but he was jumping around like actually like it was Stitch. And then at a certain point, he he burps, and they release this gas in the in the thing you're in. And I cannot when I I cannot get that smell out of my brain. And if I were to smell something like it, I know for a fact I would be transported back into that ride in that moment that singular thing it's it's weird it's almost like a little bookmark in your yeah. timeline but it's always like for me it's always like with like traumatic shit well maybe that's <laughs> well i mean that makes sense too because i think that's also a, a form of bookmark yeah in one's life fuck i'm but, pretty sure there's science that like associates scent and like flavors of things just mm-hmm. kind of confirming that it does in fact make you associate moments in time right yeah Yeah. but it's weird but yeah sometimes i just feel like um i'm just like and honestly a lot a large part of my my time is spent thinking about something can't confirm like i'll be like okay like maybe not this but like i'll be thinking like something in the future like just i'll be thinking about it it's weird like i'll be trying to problem solve but present it's it's real weird, but then when I get to that moment, I don't question it because I know exactly like what to do in that moment. It's very strange. <laughs> Sounds like uncertainty avoidance to me. Possibly, but back to the whole mansplaining thing is like I feel like I'm not coming from a place like a malicious intent where I have these past feelings that 
you're less than or that you don't know more than me. It's just that I have this, you know, this thing where people have just n- not been like looked at me funny for knowing that and they're like completely clueless to what I'm saying. So it's more or less me like over explaining so that we don't have to go through that whole thing where you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? But it also shows like how passionate you are about whatever it is you're talking about. Yeah. But I'm, I'm trying to do better. Like I'm not trying to do that. Yeah. That's why I ask you first, but then like specifically with the Halloween thing with my costume, like when I asked you who Billy Loomis was, so we were on Snapchat and then like. That was okay. That ended up just being a timing. Yeah. Then the, yeah, cause cause I asked her who if she knew who Billy Loomis was. No. no right. You were, no, you were just like um, I I asked you. I was like, who are you gonna be? And then you said Billy Loomis, and I was like, who that? Like I, it was just like who that? Okay. Like, yeah. I didn't so even she, think about she it. She did ask. She and goes then, who that? And then I it was sh- like a couple seconds later, and I was like, oh wait, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah like, but when she said who that, and before she did that, I scrolled out of Snapchat, went to YouTube, and sent her like clips and then sent it from youtube Mm -hmm. like i didn't go back into snapchat so Mm -hmm. i didn't see that message Mm -hmm. so i sent it from youtube and then i went back into the message and then you were like oh yeah and then i was i think i might have said like oh or something no i didn't no okay i think i was just like yeah like that dude yeah things like yeah but that was just like timing yeah i don't think that was like a wait is your phone working now my phone oh i need to no sorry i'm not getting messages and stuff yeah, Dry. we need to work on that in a second. Yeah. But um, anyway, I feel like that's part of the reason why Um, the communication part is part of the reason why, like, we wouldn't need a break. Cause I feel like if there was something wrong that I was doing, like, you just tell me. That's true. We also, like, I feel like we're, we also don't have to... Like, we don't feel the need to have to talk to each other every single day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it, it's... Bless you. It, it's, Bless you. Bless it's almost like wanting to. Like, yeah. oh, like, let me just ask him. or And then I feel like you're the same way. Like, yo, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that, I think that's good as well. Those are the best. Yeah. Where you don't have to talk to each other every day. Yeah. How do you even talk about? You know? My Literally. Life, life yeah, I don't know. interesting sometimes. But, um... Also, y'all signs are particularly compatible, so I, I think y'all balance each other out really well. Wow. Really? Yeah. What are you? I'm a Leo. She's I feel like I don't though. relate to I don't know sign. about any of that I feel shit. like I'm more my... Is it my moon? I have something in... Uh, moon blood. Something in... It's my moon blood. <laughs> Sagittarius and then a Libra, Sagittarium. That's me. You're a Libra? Libra huh? I see Libra in you. Yeah. That's the, and that's why, like, I got uh, close to a couple of Libras in life. Um, I know. That's why. What? And then, um... Oh. Could you hear that? No. Okay. <laughs> I was like... She's whispering into the mic. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. yeah. Same birthday as who? Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> um, yeah, they're both Libra. Sorry, we're using names that we cannot. Wait, but could you cannot. hear that? No. no. Okay. That makes sense. I mean, I get that. Wait, could you hear mine? What I was saying? <laughs> we're like I, trying to be I, as like. I, I saw it, but I don't know if. Okay, good because we, can we don't want no drama. Okay, we, we have to rewatch no this before we post it and then bleep if we do. Cuz I will say situations but I won't say names. Okay. So what what's a um It's really hard to like censor yourself from saying names. Right? Especially in a group setting like this where we all just like do it casually. Right. Yeah. And like we know all yeah, the people we're talking exactly. about. Yeah, exactly. Weird. This is it's kind of fun though like that risky. Yeah. Um, Make shit more interesting, even though yeah. like it might not be. Yeah, but in my situation, like bringing it back to like the whole friendship relationship stuff, it was hard because I ended up. It might as well say their name if I'm gonna go into great detail. I ended up just being with my best friend. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, so that relationships 
both your significant other and your best friend were both intertwined. Yeah. So it's it was like, like best friend came, became my partner. One of them was collateral. Like if one failed, or mo- no, if yes. the significant no. other failed, the best friendship was yes. collateral. Yeah. For that. So that's yeah, that's tough. It's hard to unpack. Yeah, and I kind of from the get go, um, always drew a line of if we break up, I don't think I could be friends with you. Just because I, um... I feel the same way. One, I, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of, I just didn't want to fall into a pattern that I saw. Um, maybe it could have been where we, like, remained friends, but if it weren't for a pattern that I had noticed, then, you know what I'm trying to say? I just feel like that wouldn't be healthy for you. It wouldn't. Because I feel like you're an overthinker. I am. Because same. And so, like, every move. Oh, my God. No, you'll think, like, right. oh, yeah. You would think, Does like, she want to oh, get back? something more. Yeah. 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 That would, I don't think that would have been a good yeah. place for you. Maybe, so then maybe it's good I drew the line. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right there. But. Shout out for setting boundaries. Right. So boundaries are so important. It took like, you a while. No, because after I considered it, but then I found out, like, what actually happened and so i was just like <laughs> fuck that um bitch bitch <laughs> no <laughs> and what happened um so what how do i sum was... this up in like three minutes dated my best friend um for almost four years undercover under might i say this was a secret relationship because we were it was with a, gay it was another girl <laughs> it was with the female and we, I, be, I, we both experienced in internalized homophobia, I guess, um, and... Wait, what does that mean? We're, you're, you're almost homophobic towards yourself. Like you're afraid of... Oh, okay. All right. Being yeah. gay? Yeah. Okay. Um, and we were, we found out something about each other and we fell in love with each other and we almost, it was so precious we just didn't want anyone to ruin it we didn't want our community to ruin it our families to ruin it even our friends who wouldn't have ruined it at all. we just it was it was we so so happy n- not young no, no, at the time know. like we did not know until after that but we weren't friends like that yeah i was about to say it wasn't even was like so but even then my, my group of friends it was they wouldn't have they were supportive even when they found out but anyways it was just it was this precious little thing for us and we hid it for so long and i think that's what a, a main factor. Precious little. Thing. Um, it's a really good song title. Sorry. I was just thinking. <laughs> yeah, we. I think that is what caused a lot of problems in our relationship. Obviously, right? Everyone just assumed we were best friends. So, did one of y'all want to maybe not keep it a secret? Um, it was always both. Was there that? It was always like, okay, like, can I tell this person? Um, yeah, but make sure they like don't do that, or like make sure they don't like, tell this person. <sighs> and. It, and it was from both of us. So I I definitely felt that way. Like, yeah, you can tell them, but make sure, like, they don't tell my sister or they don't tell. You know what I'm saying? Like, did 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 like not making that public? Did that at all give you a sense of like you're not valued by the other person? Um, because they don't. You know, it's like. Well, because cause y'all were both in agreement on it. Yeah. I, but I, did it have that effect on you? I want to say no, because during that time, like, we were in love. So it was like, I didn't see anything about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But in the in retrospect, did you feel less valued because of that? Or do you think you could have got more out of it if you guys would have been... Oh, a hundred percent. I wish, I wish we would have, who knows where we would be right now if we had just been open with people about it. But she's still not particularly out, right? Or did that change? I think it changed. Oh, yeah. Good for her. Yeah. Um, but okay, I guess. So yeah, we hit that for, um, a couple years, oh, man, like, that's so sad, like, I, 
anyways, and um, during COVID, we moved to our like respective homes, which was eight hours away from each other. Um, and we kind of it was our our communication was mainly text because we were still, I guess, in the closet. Um, no phone. I tried to call her once. And like, oh, like, like, I can't talk. My mom's in the other room. Or, um, if we did call each other, it was like, cause she was driving somewhere. And so it was like a quick five second or five minute phone call. So that was like all I got to see and hear of her, which sucked. Um, and then it was one night we were texting and Things just felt off. You know, like, you just get a vibe sometimes from a text. And so I I asked if she was, like, happy. And she didn't really, like, yeah. And it it had been growing, and it it was almost like... It wasn't random, basically. It was almost like someone was waiting to ask that question. Either she was going to do it or I was going to do it. Yeah. So I think I was... I'm pretty sure I was the one to do it. And, um... I was just like, are you happy? And, or maybe she asked me. I can't remember. Um, and then messages were exchanged, and then I tried to call her because it we were, like, basically on the brink of a breakup. And I tried to call her, and then she rejected my call and said, I can't talk. My mom, like, is in the next room. I was like, we were seriously not about to break up. After four fucking years through message. Like, at least have the decency to hop on the phone and fucking whisper to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, um, yeah, we <laughs> we ended a, a almost four-year relationship over text, um, which was unfortunate. But we, we gave some time to let us heal. Like, we gave, like, a like, a month, almost, maybe a little bit less, to just, like, no communication, cut it off there, and then, I guess, in, I guess, like, a month later, like, she reaches out again, like, are you okay, how's everything, or we still kept each other on Snapchat and stuff, and so, it was, like, simple conversation, you know what I'm saying, and I was, like, oh, maybe this could be, like, a friendship, and then, nah. and then I just found out about some stuff that happened. What happened? <laughs> uh, On the next episode. <laughs> well, no, you gotta think, like, the audience doesn't know. Yeah. Um, <sighs> this is more or less a story to them. What happened? Hmm. Remember I said I didn't want to fall into... What did I say? A pattern. A pattern. I didn't want to fall into a pattern that I noticed they were, like, meaning that they were friends with their exes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was pretty much it. And so when she had moved back, uh, almost, (laughs) when she would moved back home, um, mind you, she was always talking with her exes, whether it was for, like, simple conversation, um, a couple weeks... A message here, a message there. And there was, like, this particular ex where I was like, um, you know, this doesn't really make me comfortable. And I voiced that. And she was like, okay, stop communication with her for, like, two or three months. (laughs) And then that's it. And then it was always, like, scattered shit. And then this ex would, like, still, like, send her, like, Valentine's Day gifts, whether it was just, like, a Starbucks gift card still, like, birthday gifts, and it was always, like, to a reminder that she's always there. Looming in the distance. Yeah, and so it it always bothered me, but I was like, maybe that's just this person, you know? Gaslighting yourself into thinking that (laughs) it's okay. Yeah, and so, um, I'm sorry if this story feels a bit scattered, too, but, um, so I, I guess that same person... She ended up, like, during COVID, she ended up hanging out with them uh, back home. But, like, wouldn't tell me. 
about their hangouts. This is while we were still together. Um, she, like, wouldn't tell me about their hangouts. And they were, I think they would, they, like, planned stuff, too. And it was almost like, whew, I almost just said their name. It was almost like they were waiting for me to make the jump, just to cut it off so that they could, like, move on. So, was I emotionally cheated on? Yes. 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 Yeah. No, I wasn't. Please don't tell me that. I think you were. I think I was too. I think, um... Didn't you also get the mic Yeah, so, um... I love it. Yes. She's a mic, don't forget. Yeah. Um, so... Fuck, I'm forgetting the timeline situation. I guess a week after uh, we'd broken up, we broke up. <laughs> we actually broke up on Halloween. That's funny. Um, we broke up on Halloween, and then like a week, a week later, she was on a trip with someone else, like a like a double date trip, couple trip type beat, and I was like, <laughs> "Wait, so that means that was planned?" Yeah, that or. Um, Something freed up. Yeah. Nah. Me. That had to have been. <laughs> that had to have been. That have to have been planned. And don't get me wrong. I there are a lot of things different. A lot of things I could have done differently, to. I don't even want to say save the relationship. But. I could have. I could have been different. I could have acted differently. Maybe. In what regard? Um, I don't know. Well, I just, I would have... Is this you saying you really could have been different? Or are you just trying to, like, cope with the fact that maybe you took part in it as well? So that you're not as hurt? Wait, I'm gonna start crying. It's okay. 